Hello lovely people, it's Nicole and it's almost Christmas! So I thought I'd do one of the Christmassy tags and I uh, thought I'd get kind of grumpy, which is weird because I'm so excited and like happy about Christmas. But yeah, uh, I'm doing the Grinch tag, which was created by Thoughts on Tomes. Um, wasn't tagged by anyone, as usual, but who cares? Half the lights on the Christmas tree are out. A book that started off good and then went downhill. For this, I actually don't have the physical copy of the book because I didn't like it very much, so I sent it away. Um, but I chose... Uh, the Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, I think. Um, and actually for this it was less of the book that started off good and then went downhill and more of the series. I really enjoyed the first book, but after that the books, it just felt like they were getting more overly excessively complicated and just the books felt like they were dragging on, nothing really made sense or like it felt like they ha they were having us push our suspen or suspension of disbelief like too far and I just I couldn't do it anymore. Annoying Great Aunt, Great Aunt Sally Won't Leave You Alone. A book that everyone else loves but you hate. This I'm going with the Maze Runner series and I actually I know I'm not alone in my opinion of this um but I felt like the first one was good not great it didn't blow me away um but then after that I just it felt like it got more confusing and nothing was really explained, and I just didn't love it. Your pets keep knocking over your Christmas decorations. A character that keeps messing things up for everyone. This is America Singer all the way. She is so indecisive, and her reluctance to just make a decision or just tell someone the thing that she wants to tell them she messes everything up always, like for herself and for Maxon and for just everyone around her and it's really just really annoying. I love these books, but America can get really, really annoying. You hear your parents putting presents under the tree and learn that Santa isn't real. A book that someone spoiled you for. I don't really have a book for this one because I don't really get spoiled? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to spoilers that much so I don't really like retain or remember if I was like badly spoiled for anything. Um, I don't think I've been like badly spoiled for anything but so far as I know or I can remember nothing too bad. Not an excuse to spoil me. It's freezing outside. A character you just couldn't connect with. This I'm um, going with Lincoln from Attachments. Uh, I love this I, I like this book. It's Rainbow Rowell. I love Rainbow Rowell, but I just, I think because of the things he was doing with the whole, like, spying on emails thing, I just, I couldn't get past that, and it made it a little difficult for me to sympathize with him or to connect with him, and so it just, it was a little rough for me. Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You keeps playing, and it's giving you anti-romantic thoughts. A couple you just couldn't stand. This I'm going with uh, Mason and Brett from Black Eyes by Becca Fitzpatrick. Um, I this was another one where I just I couldn't get past part of the premise, like the premise of their relationship. I could not get past like the Stockholm syndrome of it, and it was really kind of weird for me. And then also I had the issue of it felt like. Their priorities were really out of whack. I mean, they were trying to like stay alive and they were worrying about whether they were gonna like survive the night. And then they were like, hey, wanna make out? Cause that's really what we should be focusing on right now. And I just, I couldn't, couldn't do it. Scratchy homemade Christmas sweater you got years ago, but can't get rid of. A book that you got a while ago, but you can't motivate yourself to pick up and you also don't wanna get rid of. That is The Silkworm by uh, Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. Um, I got this because it's J.K. Rowling. I feel like I need to pick it up because it's J.K. Rowling, but I just, I didn't love the first one just because this um, adult mystery is sort of just not 
my thing. It's not the genre I typically um, enjoy. So I'm having trouble motivating myself to pick up this one. It's also really big, so that doesn't help. Um, but also it's JK Rowling, so I don't want to get rid of it because it's, it, it's the queen and I love her. But I just, I, mm, we'll see, maybe someday. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. A character death you're still not over. Um, just a warning, right now this is gonna get spoilery and I'm going to tell you what books it's going to get spoilery and you can't get mad at me for telling you that there are character books, the character deaths in these books. Um, cause don't be a baby. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be talking about the Harry Potter series and the Hunger Games series. So if you don't want to know about spoilers for them, um, skip ahead until I'm not holding up either of those books anymore. Uh, I'm holding up Prisoner of Azkaban just because that's what happened. I happen to have off my shelf right now because I'm currently rereading it. Um, serious. Or no, not serious. Not serious. Fred. Fred. I will never be over Fred Weasley. I love Fred so much. He is, like, the Weasley twins are amazing and they're some of my favorite characters in the entire series. Um... And I'm so upset. That death was the one that hit me hardest. That death was the one that, like, I cry every single time I read it. And any time I read any kind of, like, headcanons about the Weasley twins or, like, a like George afterwards, I just, I break down. I, I cannot with that. And then this one, Finnick. Just, just Finnick. Finnick has been my favorite character since we met him in Catching Fire, and his death was so just like sudden I had to go back and reread it because I thought I'd miss something because it happened so fast. And I am both terrified and kind of intrigued as to how they're going to do it in the movie. Okay, spoilers over. Malls are overly crowded for the holidays. A book series that has too many books slash went on too long. Uh, that's Pretty Little Liars. I enjoyed the first four. I enjoyed the next four. After that, I got a little, like, mmm. Uh, in Pretty Little Liars, sometimes I kind of just, I kind of just felt like they were just continuing it because they could. Um, like, I could, I could push my, my suspension of disbelief into the second four. Like, I, I was able to make myself go, go with that. But after that, it just felt a little ridiculous and a little like, come on, I thought we already defeated A like twice. Can we not with more books? It's a little exhausting. And the final question is the Grinch, a main character you hate. For anyone who knows me, this will not be a surprise. Bella Swan. Can't, can't with Bella Swan. She's, I just, personally, I find her kind of boring and kind of a doormat and also then there's the whole issues I have with the relationship in this book I could go on for hours about how I don't like this book um but yeah I just I don't I don't like Bella I don't at all she had like weird things happen because of her or like she does weird things and it's never explained as to how she did them or why she did them or like why people are acting certain ways around. I just, uh, nothing is explained well and I don't like this book series. All right, so that is the entire Grinch book tag, holiday tag, so that was fun. Um, I just want to say sort of a disclaimer. These are all just my opinions. If you love these books, awesome, good for you. I am very glad that you were able to enjoy them. Personally, they weren't for me. Um, Sorry if I offended you. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And I will see you lovely people later.